In previous videos, we looked extensively at singly linked lists. In this video, we're going to look at doubly linked lists. And what I'm going to do first is I am going to color code what we have already done with a singly linked list. The value is going to be in purple and the next value is going to be in green. So the reference pointing to the next node is in green. If we're going to have a doubly linked list, what it allows us to do is instead of going forward through the list, we can go backwards through the list. And so we're going to add an additional instance variable, that being previous. And so what previous is going to do is it's going to point back to the previous node. And as I just said, it allows us to traverse the list backwards or see what is the node prior to the node that we're currently on. If we're going to look at this in code, there is only one change, as I said, to the instance variable. And the instance variable previous is added, which we add right here. And then we're going to add it to the constructor. And we're going to add a get method, which gets the previous value, and a set method, which allows us to change the previous node. So doubly linked lists are almost exactly the same as singly linked lists, except for they have an additional ability to point to the previous node. Also, what you'll commonly find with doubly linked list is that you have a tail value which keeps track of the end of the list, whereas head keeps track of the front of the list. And so if you know what the end of the list is, you can go back from there and traverse the list in that way. 